I often wander the building talking to the kids, because I have a student teacher, and they said, Mr. Shock, Mr. Shock, come here. And I walked over, someone sneaks in our building at night and paints on the walls. Um, it has been a tradition for the fourth grade class, graduating class, to give a gift to the school. And this past year it was done a little differently. Instead of presenting us with a gift, we had two students representing the student body who gave us a list of proposals. And one of the proposals was a mural. Originally the mural was conceived as something that would um, demonstrate something about the history and geography of our state and from there, um, after meeting with the artist, it grew into something that could be used as a creative tool to be inspirational to children as they're walking up and down the stairs as well as to reflect um, not just the geography and the history of the school but things that are exciting and um, relevant to students. She called me and said, hey, they need a small uh, middle to be done, so maybe you can make it. And I said, I, I would love it. <laughs> I would love to work with, with children for a school. That, that's one of my, of my dreams. Our students brought in money, and they raised $600 to make this possible. That's a little bit of money, I guess, for an artist, but still, it was something they saved to make this project a reality. I love to do art with and for kids because they are they I, I I learn a lot from them and also I'm very playful I guess is the word uh, I mean I draw and I paint but I but I'm playing a game I love to paint with other people like I draw one line and you draw the other and kids are wonderful playing that because they are not about, oh, I don't know how to paint. I had this idea about the silhouettes, like almost at the first moment, and I thought, oh, that's, that has that playful, that game aspect, and, and I thought that combination is, is perfect. <laughs> it's the one down there in the hot air, but then the wizard in the wizard box. Oh, I didn't see that one! There's some things that are already done, but nothing is finished in this mural. Nothing is gonna be finished even at the end. Everything is gonna be alive. So if you have any idea of something that can be in there, then it's a new idea. But if you have any idea of, of oh, this guy is, who said, who asked me if it's the Wizard of Oz, then you can maybe add something to the story, okay? So this is not just a drawing, but it's here and it's, mm. it's alive and it has all that to keep on going with the story, okay? If the books were in the tree and books were flying over to a person over here who had like a stack of books found like or, maybe, <laughs> or maybe because the books are flying and just scattering like leaves, they can land in the Oh and yeah, antlers, and they yeah, just sit so there. Like, you can like, see a nest, and then one of the birds. And, yeah. and then from there could be the like, nest. There could be like a tornado of birds rising and carrying. Or a book. Or like a book. Like, like, a a book. like you got to paint on this. Because if you were, you would take Lewis and Clark and have them marching over here to go to Thomas Jefferson to tell them about their discoveries. The first morning, um, the children walked in and they, they said, oh, something's happened, somebody's been here in the middle of the night. And every morning they're eager to come and see what new has developed. They, they did stuff. They, they, they do all these all over the room. Getting here early every morning with my daughter who's a fourth grader, first thing she does is sneaks out uh, to get a preview and she goes up and down the stairs and reports back uh, and just seeing her excitement along with the rest of the students has been very fun. We like them. We like them. The, the teachers are excited. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like a magical thing when we come in. I almost fall down the stairs seeing all the, like, the new things that pop up overnight. Several of them have taken their students on tours of the, of the stairwell a couple of times to see it grow. Oh look! Dedicated to our awesome school. See? <laughs> the thing right behind you. I didn't see that. 
Oh, and this, look. Some teachers are using it as a creative writing story starter where children are taking um, different elements of the mural and deciding what's happening and, and creating a story around it. I really like the one with the horse. It looked like she was trying to train this wild horse. And I thought it was really cool. So I decided to watch write about it. I call my story Wild Horse. It really has brightened up our school um, and given us something really exciting to talk about um, all together. I feel like it's definitely to inspire people yeah. because this is a school and it's all about in, uh, inspiring people to do great things and become great people in the end and you know um, just like be themselves and have imagination still and so I feel like the purpose of this mural would just to be inspire people and when they're walking up the stairs and I also feel like because that hallway that it starts in is like the first in kindergarten hallway and then, and then, it, and goes then it goes up, up kind of the from end. like the um, second and then yeah. the third and then the fourth grade hallway so, so it's kind of growing in knowledge and um, a lot yeah they're like taking then, off and then finally arriving and because <coughs> I feel like this is arriving yeah they're arriving at fourth grade and they're going to leave soon but they're going to start another journey too this woman in here is Sojourney Truth who fought for the black people and the women's rights and this man in here uh, is Venable and he was a mathematician and also a, an astronomer and then uh, with all the signs and numbers that are coming from his head there's this equal sign that is uh, between this woman and this man and this black and this white people I like them. I think like they kind of affect how you walk up the stairway and stuff. And I think it's about like the colonist with um they they were gonna go with the Indians and like they they need some help. Who? Oh. You say oh. I don't know why I said oh. Maybe. I gotta go to school. I heard one little girl walk up one day and talk about the dragon. And she was screaming, it's a dragon! So excited. Dragon is breathing fire, and the fire says, dedicated to our awesome school, the fourth graders from 2011. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience to watch it appear on the walls. I open people's minds with my art. So I think that's a, that's a work for a better world. <laughs> this really adds a whole new dimension um, to the school. But probably if you walk past the mural enough, if each time you'll probably see something different yeah. once it's finished. Yeah, like when you reread a book, yeah. you, always, yeah. you always realize things that you didn't find the first time. Just... One story leads to another and all yeah. stories connect in some way or yeah. another. One comment that I've heard, is it going to be on the other end of the building too? I think the people, our students, teachers, visitors like it so much that they'd love to see it throughout the school. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I want to stay here painting forever. <laughs>